So I've already talked to you about bourbons that you should not be hunting, that are not worth it. Well, today's your lucky day because here I have five bourbons for you that are absolutely worth a little extra effort and in some places worth the extra money. Let's do this. Hey everybody, it's Matt Gresson with Whiskey back again. And once more, if you like what you've seen here, please consider liking, leaving a comment, subscribing, of course, and hit those bells so you know when we go live. And if you want to be a part of the community, ask questions to our podcast guests, have a chance to be on this show, on our weekly live show, or also get special opportunities and discounts on barrel picks, join us at patreon.com slash wrestling with whiskey and join the community today. There's a lot of rare bottles out there, but how many are really worth that effort? Well, I have five here that are worth the time and the effort and sometimes a little bit of money. So let's start it off. Number one, to me, is something that is worth it because the price is usually right, but it is hard to find, and that's Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare from Buffalo Trace is a 10-year age-stated bourbon. It's a really nice, mature, layered bourbon that when you find it, I have found it often for less than $40 in certain states. Now, it's rarer and rarer these days, Eagle Rare, but I will say, when I do find it on a shelf, or at least find where it should be on a shelf, the price tags are never $80, $90, $100. They're never really secondary kind of things. I always see it around $40, maybe $50, which to me, a 10-year bourbon in this market today is pretty well worth it. And Eagle Rare itself is a really, really nice bourbon. And if you are lucky enough to get one of the barrel picks, even if that's at a premium, if you know a store that's lucky enough to get one, I have yet to have a bad Eagle Rare single barrel. Those are also 10 years, so those are very, very well layered and matured. Go out of the way to maybe make a few calls, ask some friends. Eagle Rare is worth it, especially at its retail price. Moving into more premium, limited edition territory, I want to talk about the Booker's Limited Editions. Now, many of these bottles were one-offs, not yearly releases, something like a Booker's 25th. Booker's 30th. Those only came out on anniversary years and Booker's Rye. These are the three I'm mainly talking about. And when I say here, these all came out in the premium category. I know Booker's 30th was $200 retail. I did not, I was not aware of what the retail price for Booker's 25th or Booker's Rye was. I imagine it was similar, maybe slightly cheaper when those came out. These have all received fantastic reviews. I've been lucky enough to have the Booker's Rye and the Booker's 30th, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about the Booker's 25th. Now, these ones are going to be incredibly hard to find, and you will likely only find them on the secondary market. But I will tell you, even though the prices and trades people may be asking are very high, these are one of the ones that I would I would consider Look in your collection. What bottles could you possibly trade or add with cash or something to make this trade worth it? Because those Booker's Limited, the rye itself is incredible. Booker's 30th is had one of the best noses of any whiskey I've ever had. And again, all my friends, everybody I've talked to, anybody I've communicated with who's had the Booker's 25th say it's even better than the Booker's 30th. And the thing about these is, they are rare, but they don't seem to command the hype, 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 hype of like certain pappies or BTACs. So you're not, it's going to be hundreds of dollars, but I don't think you'll be in the thousands range. So try to make some trades, save up a little money. And if it comes across your path or you see an opportunity and it is feasible for you, for me, someone like me, it probably isn't, but maybe for you it is. To me, even at a high price, even at a secondary price, those Booker's Limiteds, might be worth pulling the trigger. Number three, wild turkey export bottles. Japan has had a love with bourbon, especially well-aged, age-dated bourbon for a long time. It helped kept the bourbon industry afloat during hard times in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And so as a result, some of the major bourbon producers sent some really good stuff over to Japan. So when you go, like I've been lucky enough, or if you know friends who are going, keep an eye out for bottles like a wild, the Wild Turkey 13 year or some of the other export editions. I have one right here. They have some nice rare limited exports. This one was very, very affordable. I believe this was less than $100. A 13 year 
aged dated wild turkey for less than 100 bucks. As you see, I broke the cork, but it's because it was so good I had to rip the top off right away. Usually you can find them for fair prices if you're in Japan when you do the conversion from yen to dollars. I found things like Blanton Straight from the Barrel for 80 bucks US. Things like that. Because that's normal to them. Whereas us, that's a gem. So those are worth seeking out, hitting up your friends who are going to Tokyo for a business trip, things like that. So if you get a chance, or if you can pay a little extra to get one of those imported, they're so good, nothing bad comes out of wild turkey. It's worth the extra effort. Number four, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. These are almost always phenomenal. You get Elijah Craig, a great brand at barrel strength and age dated on the side of the bottle, 12 years old, a 12 year blend of barrel proof Elijah Craig Heaven Hill juice. And again, this is one of those ones, I've seen it gouged up a little bit, but these ones don't seem to command the multi hundreds of dollars secondary kind of pricing. And I often, even though they're hard to find, when I do find them, they're on the shelf for 60 bucks. $60, 12 year barrel proof Elijah Craig. That's an intense, intense offer. So if you see them, clear the shelf. And I've often even seen them just traded for $100, $110, which is expensive, but on the age old bourbon scale, $110 for a 12 year barrel proof product is not insane. Uh, but 99% of the time, I see it more around the 50 to $70 mark. And the people will trade it in the 50 to $70 mark too. It's not one of those bottles that is rare, but has not seen the price and allocation shoot crazy, crazy high like many others. So if you see a chance to get some Elijah Craig barrel proof, I'd say jump on it. And number five, probably one of the most popular barrel pick programs that churns out so many good hits and a lot of cult following. Four Roses Single Barrel Picks. Four Roses has some incredible, 10 different mash bills you can choose from. All of them very interesting, bringing their own subtleties and flavor notes. But man, some of these selections, these barrel proof selections, can, and they're also usually well aged, eight years or more, sometimes 10, 11, 12 years, and they are so good. What a quality distillery Four Roses is, and it is exemplified in those single barrels. These have gone up in price over the years, but still, I often see them for $80 or $90 at retail if you can get them, if your store is able to get one of those picks, which to me, for a 9-10 year barrel proof Four Roses pick, I think is a fair deal. Now, sometimes they trade secondary higher. I've seen, depending on how much hype a certain pick has gotten, they've gone over $200 and things like that. And that is a personal decision. But generally speaking, just under $100 for these really nice Four Roses picks is most often what I see, and I think it's worthwhile. Especially if it is a store you trust that you know and they pick great barrels, make sure you get your hands on a Four Roses barrel pick when they come in. They're really great, constant. They've been such a constant level of quality that it's hard to beat them. Even though they're reaching that premium tier for the picks, I think it is worth the extra effort and it is worth the extra money over the regular options. So there you have it. Those are the bottles. Some of them extremely rare, others just kind of hard to find, but all of them worth the effort. All of them worth a little extra cash in my opinion. And all of them are quality additions to your collection. Like and subscribe on the channel, follow us on social media, join us at patreon.com slash wrestling with whiskey, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.